right, folks, we're here at the Auto Museum in Indiana. I'd highly recommend that you come to this big truck museum if you're out this way. Um, maybe you have a favorite, maybe you don't, but it's a unique view of the big monster trucks and a fun place for you to bring your kids. There's one of the suits that they wear and uh, I will quickly try to walk through here let you see some of their vehicles they were courteous enough to say please go to social media and please if people were out this way to stop in and right now, they do, they're not charging an admission fee. What they're asking for is a donation. So if you're in this part of Indiana, it's about roughly 30 miles from Fort Wayne. I highly recommend that you come here and pay a visit and uh, enjoy the monster trucks. And come on, if you've got kids, what kid doesn't love monster trucks come on we all love monster trucks right and all of us men come on we're still kids at heart we love monster trucks right so uh let me give you a little close-up here of some of the technical parts of these things who wants to sit in that seat and drive this truck across the top of two or three other cars? And look at the treads on this baby. And here you go. Look at this one right here. This is nice. Nice color. And this is what the kids like. See, the kids are like this because they can climb in one. They can pretend to drive. Are you doing live? Yes, then I am live. Showing off the monster trucks. And uh, here you go. Here you go. Look at this. This is really, this is really a nice setup. And let me show you the gift shop because if you're going to come here, you need to spend some money. Hey, let me have you do your introduction again because I lost it a while ago. Yeah. Okay. So what was not recording? Just, no. just do the whole thing again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, are we going? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the International Monster Truck Museum and Hall of Fame in Butler, Indiana. I'm Christopher. And I'm the curator and tour guide for this place. The International Monster Truck Museum and Hall of Fame, for the benefit of those who may not know, was first founded in 2010 and we spent the first 10 years of our life inside the Cruz Plaza in Auburn, Indiana, where we were just one of multiple tenants. It was there where we first found our footing and gained popularity. Well, towards the end of the 2010s, Dean Cruz, the building's founder and owner, got sick and sold it to a coalition of owners, a group of owners who had a new vision for this building. Is, and they asked all the tenants, us included, to leave, but they gave us a year and a half's notice. With one year of this year and a half left to go, our president and co-founder and former war wagon monster truck driver, Jeff Cook, they, um, took one of his monster trucks to the Butler Days Festival, where it attracted people like bees to honey. One of the people who knows this publicity was Mike Hartman, Butler's mayor who instantly saw the potential that monster trucks had. Conversations were had and a deal was struck and in November 2020, the IMTM announced its forever home right here in, in Butler, Indiana. So we had our big grand opening ceremony after months and months of renovation of this old fraternity of Eagles Lodge building in May of 2021 in which we have been open ever since. You know, monstermuseum.org as well as find us on Facebook and Instagram for, for all the info. And what's your next show that you're going to be doing? Uh, our next upcoming show, as of this recording, is is set for May 20th, 2023. And um, how does your fee structure work for the museum? It's 
hey, uh, well, you know, we we have no official admission right now. We just ask for donations, whether five whether five dollars or five hundred dollars or anywhere in between. Every little bit helps, as we are a five hundred one c three nonprofit not profit. Not, 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 501c3 nonprofit, excuse me, there. Run 100% on donations and volunteers. So, if anyone watching this has any classic monster memorabilia that they're willing to let go of, we'd be excellent. Glad. Excellent. And I think that uh, you've got to see a pretty good view. What is your Otis out there that you presently have? Our, our what? Your Otis one? Your first. Yeah, uh, it's all, all, the, all, all the very first truck in line. Yeah. They say, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, as of right now, the truck I say closest to the client is called Goliath. Yes. And on the opposite side, we have a fire truck called Silly Willy right now. However, it's worth mentioning that some of our monster trucks are 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 permanent; others rotate in and out. So, so that's currently like that as of this recording. But if you, you know, but things might be different when you come back. We'll see. Very nice, thank you. And right now, we you just spoke to about two thousand people. So, oh wow! <laughs> so, thank you very much. We're going to show you a little bit here of the gift shop because they, if you come here, you want to buy some nice souvenirs, and it helps them out. Yeah, yeah. we we got we got clothing, headwear, DVDs, drinking glasses, collectibles, coloring books, and, and all kinds of fun stuff. It's a, if you're a monster truck fan, chances are we have something you want. There you go. See, you couldn't have a better advertisement than that. So you're look. You want a nice shirt? Look at the nice shirts they've got here for monster trucks for you guys. DVDs, books, you name it. This is pretty nice. Pretty nice gift shop. In, in, in addition to our live events like our live monster truck shows, we also have a Hall of Fame ceremony every November. And in December, we have a special event where Santa Claus and maybe even Buddy the Elf will arrive to the museum in the back of a monster truck. Oh, uh, see, there's an event to bring your kids to. Santa Claus arriving to the museum in the back of a monster truck. Yeah, and, and plus, maybe Buddy the Elf, too. We'll see. I, I would bet that would have the kids lined up down the block. And Buddy the Elf. There you go. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much for helping yeah. out here. Yeah. Again, there's one more time, monstermuseum.org for all, for all the info, like, location, and hours. Plus, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Who knows? And maybe if you're interested, hey, I just, I'm, I just might give you a tour throughout Monster Truck history. Time will tell. There you go, folks. Come here and pay a visit. This sounds like the place to come. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. We'll walk out. We'll take another look here at the trucks one more time. Let's go up and look at that cool fire truck because that fire truck, I think, is is awesome. And he said they call this Silly Willy. Now, maybe in your town you're needing a new fire truck. You might want to think about one like this. Just look how much fun this would be to ride to a fire in. You got your hose, you got your bucket seat sitting on the side, all that chrome, and look at those wheels. I mean, you know, in some of these countries' areas, a truck like this might actually be in handy. Look here, you've got your pump on the back. I mean, this is a real fire truck. I, I didn't know who it was. I can't, I can't read. I'm gonna send it so we can come by these. And you can have so there we go. There, right now. Are we can look at So this was Silly Willie, the fire truck. And I forgot what he told us the name of this first one is up here, but let's go back and look at it a little closer. So I'm combined with Katie, that's my daughter. She's here. She brought me here today so that you folks can get a good look at this. Goliath. This one is Goliath. Goliath. All right. Goliath is the name. I'm sorry, folks. I can't read your comments. And my good eye is still messed up. So I appreciate each one of you joining us live to look at these cool trucks. This is the one with the with the wonderful treads. 
I mean, you could do some mountain climbing in this. Hey, this you know, one this is would be called... fun to have someplace like up in the Smokies for a week or Heavy up in the metal. Appalachians. Think what you could do with this riding down through the through the wooded pass. Some of my friends are fishermen. How would you like to take this baby fishing? They're, they're playing with this trap, mostly. The kids are really enthralled with this monster. Hot wheel trap. <clears throat> they think that's a ball. They've been watching these YouTubes with building these traps, so... We've been waiting for warmer weather. So we're going to let them go outside and build one at home. They've got the hot wheel tracks. They've got some um, white cork board at home. They're going to build a build a great big one outside with dad. I mean, how cool is this, right? I like I like these views like this because it shows you some of the mechanicals of these trucks and how much is involved. Look at that engine on that thing where the header's got straight up pipes going up through the hood. Can you imagine the noise of this thing running? And then look at the wheel drum and suspension on these things. I mean, that is a heavy duty wheel drum. <laughs> You won't have one like this on your personal car, I can tell you. Look at the number of shocks. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six shocks on the back end. And then that's this is your spring, your leaf spring. Oh. Are they showing then, out? I walked away for a second. Sorry. And then you look at your stabilizers here. This is your, Where's your that oldest stabilizer. Get a picture of you. you here, out we'll, walk around, we'll walk around, give you a shot of the rear end on this thing. Look at that. Talk about it. <laughs> and then this truck, this is a little different. You notice this one has leaf spring. But when you come to this one, and you've actually got double coil springs setting up onto the shock system rather than a leaf spring. Two seconds. And then we're back at it. And of yeah. course, you don't want to miss that. The famous pins oil, right? Come on. This is called the Taurus. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're hanging out over here? Okay, let me see. Where are you at? I can't see you. I gotta come closer? Okay, alright. You driving this monster truck? Where are you driving it to? To a monster truck paid city. To a monster truck paid city? Yeah. What's a monster truck paid city? You can buy on two cars and you can land. Oh, okay. Are you going to crush some cars? Anybody gets in your way, you're just going to crush them? Wait, don't crush the people inside of it. Oh, you don't crush the people inside of it? Just the car? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, don't crush anything. Don't crush anything? We do crush anything. Hey, mommy. What? Look at a monkey truck is crushing cars. Mom, I'm gonna it's crushing my... cars? Oh, you're watching the TV up here. Okay, hang on. I got to get this TV for Liam. I don't know how he's seeing it all the way up there, but this is the big screen TV he's a watching. So I remind you, we're at the Monster Truck Museum here at Buford, Indiana. Butler, Butler Indiana. Butler, Indiana. <laughs> well, if I tell you Buford, you end up at the wrong place. But look here. Let's look inside this big truck. See, the kids get to sit here and drive. They've got a floor shifter in this thing. 
I've got the bucket seat. Hey! And this also is kind of too huge. You know, what kid wouldn't love this to play with, right? Come on. I think Zadie, Katie and Zach should buy an old pickup truck and fix it up like this in their driveway for the kids to play in. Be better than a playhouse. Come on. Look how, look how wide the tires are. The boys are having a ball. <laughs> I want to go in the gift shop. Have you been in there yet? Yeah. You want to go first then? Go ahead. I'll watch kids while you do it, and then I'll go in. He's going in the gift shop part. I don't climb on it like that now. Come on. Okay, folks. I am going to log off here, but you can continue on with Katie, and she will take you again into the gift shop where I went a while ago. And uh, I hope you did not miss the introduction with the uh, gentleman who gave you all the details and the next scheduled date and so forth of their ne next monster truck show in April. And uh, hope yeah, you enjoy it. Thank with you me. for uh, attending and sharing our live. Yeah, we're going to be going to a